Hi guys, from 2GSB here. I'm going to be bringing you guys a CTF on Vanna from my good friend Brown Chaos's point of view. Uh, it's just a comp play. We tried to get some team scrims going, but uh, all of the ones that we played weren't rec had recording disabled, so I wasn't able to bring you guys that. Hopefully I'll be able to get some of those very soon, though, and be able to post those. But anyway, so on to the point. The outcome of Rally, uh, some team changes, and COD XP teams is what I'm going to be discussing here. Um... So for the outcome of Rally, everybody should know by now, Fear got an amazing first place win there. They, I, I didn't even know what to expect from them. They really pulled out there and just showed no matter what people are saying, no matter what happens to them on a personal level or a team chemistry even, it, it doesn't even matter. They're just going to throw it all out on the table and go big or go home. And that's exactly what they did. They, And hell, they, they won first place there. Great job by them. John really showed how much of an amazing slayer he is. He, I think he put down like a 29 or almost a 30 bomb uh, against Optic. And it just, you know, goes to show how powerful that team really is. Um, and for second place, there's Collapse. Uh, they really were the hidden secret of Rally. You know, they basically were an open bracket team. They, used, they were in Pool A, but they got taken out when they dropped one of their players. So they, uh, they lost some of the pro points there. But it was a mix of Pikachu, Too Quick, Caramel, and Apathy. These guys battled through open bracket, went undefeated in their pool, defeating even Leverage. Uh, and then were only sent to losers bracket by Envy. Who were a great team. And they even came back, defeated Envy, eliminated them from the whole thing, and got second place against Fear. Uh, sadly, they did get 0-3 against Fear, but you know, it's okay. They were an amazing team, and really this team was kind of thrown together the last two weeks, I think. Uh, it was really the only time they, that we started hearing about them, and, you know, the to, Caramel was one of their last people to be picked up, and I really think he was only on there for two weeks. So, you know, imagine if they actually got some practice going, how they would perform in Orlando. But last I heard, I, I heard A4V pick them up, and we're going to sponsor them for Orlando. But then Car Caramel tweeted out that uh, the team wasn't doing too well, and I think they broke up. But so I don't know if they if Collapse as a whole broke up or if they just dropped Caramel. Um, we'll have to see what's going on there. Haven't heard anything since then, but I'll stay in tune there and uh, try to release some of that information. For third place, Envy. They finally got a good placing. You know, I've been a huge Envy fan for a while. I really wanted to see them do well and go into the finals. Uh, they had an amazing run, though. They, they got third place. Uh, but right after Rally, what really surprised me is they dropped Nate Shot. Now, many p people thought he was one of their weaker players, but really, after a third place finish, I didn't expect a roster change. All they would really have to work on is some team chemistry issues, a couple gameplay strats, and just, you know, fine-tune fine -tune some things. But uh, I didn't expect them to drop a player. Now, finally, I, th I think I saved the biggest news for last. And if you don't know about this, man, I don't know where you've been, but Optic Gaming dropped Rambo. So they dropped one of their, you know, main guys, if not their captain. Uh, these guys, they haven't, you know, one of their biggest things is they haven't gone through a team change. They've always been talking about their team chemistry and how it's so good. But they got a fourth place finish, and I don't know, they just got really hurt over it. And they dropped Rambo, and that was a huge decision. I don't, I don't know how they even got through that. That would be... That was that must have been a huge call on their part. Uh, a lot of people were surprised by that. I really didn't even know what to say when I heard it. But uh, Rambo, you know, we all know he's a powerful, powerful beast in the COD world. He's one of the probably, if not, he's he's one of the smartest players on there, if not the smartest player. He may not be the best slayer, but he's one of the smartest guys out there for COD. Uh, next threat has already picked him up, which puts them in a huge, huge, impressive bump. Uh, for their, you know, finish in Orlando. Hopefully they will be uh, a huge top contender there. I'm, you know, really they've got Rambo. There's going to be some team chemistry issues over the next few weeks, so stay tuned on his channel. That's twitch.tv slash Rambo. Um, you know, hopefully they smooth things out, because right now there's a lot of arguing going on there, but that's definitely going to put them in a top five, if not, you know, first, second, or third finish. So expect big things from them. Now, COD XP teams. I had, I'd been looking on here forever. I haven't seen anybody go through what's going on in COD XP, so I figure I might as well make a video here. Took some time to do some research, but I've got it. Uh, these are kind of the big teams that I picked out. 
Ricard XP. There's some other teams. There's a lot of European and a lot of uh, uh, foreign teams. That I don't know. There's a couple of U.S. teams that I don't even know. Uh, but these these are kind of the big ones that really stood out to me. I hope you guys agree with that. So first off, we've got Obey. Uh, it's just going to be Breezy, Trizzy, Episode, and Clayster. Now, for those of you who don't know who he is, um, he's one of the biggest guys in the Modern Warfare 2 thing. Modern Warfare 2 scene. I think he won the most money out of any player in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, he was a big free-for-all guy. Uh, just look him up. He's a huge guy in there. So, you know, great pickup for Modern Warfare 3. They weren't able to pick up Empire because he's 16. And you have to be 18 years or older to compete in any competition over $100,000, I think. This is a $1 million tournament. So, huge, huge lots of money there. So, everybody's going to go all out. Next team up is Icons. Uh, this is really just the Icon Black team from MLG Rally. It consisted of Ego, RJ34, Terrorist, and Killa. Uh, they're they're you know they're a strong team. I you know I, I don't really know what to expect. They're one of the stronger teams out there, but I don't think they're on the level of some of these other teams coming up. Um, next up, we've got the YouTubers. Now this team, I I really don't even know what to expect from them. They're just kind of thrown together. They're a bunch of commentators, but we've got Woody, from Woody's Gamer Tag, T Martin, Junkyard 129, and Fear Crads, I believe. Uh, now I'm not too sure on the last one. Uh, that took me a while to find, but I, I'm pretty sure that he's the he's their fourth. Uh, again, they only release first name, first and last names for these guys, so half these people don't want their first and last names out there, and so they, it's really hard to find them. But I do believe that's who it is. Uh, again, I don't really know what to expect. They've got a couple of decent players, but, you know, in terms, everybody's on an even playing field because nobody's played Modern Warfare 3. You know, one of the big things that makes pros pros is they know the maps inside and out. They know the spawns. They know the weapons. But it's really going to come down to who can adjust the fastest. So, really, any of these guys could be contenders for the top money. It doesn't have to be the, quote, best players. Uh, so, they, they might stand a chance, but we'll see. Uh, they'll at least be the most interesting to watch. I would love to hear listen-ins from them because I, I, I don't even know what they're going to do for call-outs and stuff. It's just going to be, he's over there. But uh, great guys in there. That's going to be an entertaining uh, entertaining match. Uh, next team on my list is Optic Gaming. This isn't really Optic Gaming. It's uh, it's Big Timer, Merc, Vengeance from Next Threat, and Nade Shot. So they're only picking two guys from Optic Gaming, Big Timer and Merc. Uh, Vengeance is a huge, huge slayer. Really good objective player as well, but a big slayer for uh, next threat, so they're picking up him. And then Nade Shot, one of their old buddies, and uh, you know, he, he's a great objective player, a very good search and destroy guy, and he's he's probably one of the guys that will pick up the game very quickly. Um, so I, I think that'll be a good, good team. But, you know, again, since nobody's playing Modern Warfare 3, we'll have to see what happens. Now, my biggest team to look out for is what I call the dream team, which is Leverages. They've got Leverage TP, Proofy, Assassin, and Stain. Uh, you know, I don't even know, they don't even need an introduction. Uh, TP and Proofy, two amazing players from uh, Leverage. Uh, Scump's too young, so he couldn't come, but then they picked up Stain, who's probably one of the best COD players of all time, no matter what COD you're talking about. He's always been a top contender. He's always been big. And, you know, if he's not one of the biggest slayers out there, he's definitely one of the smartest people in this. So, definitely a huge team. And then Assassin, I mean, come on. Everybody knows Fear. He's been a, he's been a huge scene since COD 4. So, you know, again, they, they've got four powerhouse COD players. This isn't, a COD, this isn't a COD 4 team. This isn't a Modern Warfare 2 team. And this definitely isn't a Black Ops team. This is just a we-want-to-win-this-million-dollar competition team. Uh, so I really expect them to go all out. Now, one of the uh, one of the big things is though it's not a U.S. tournament, so it's not like MLG where there's basically only U.S. and Canada teams. This is everybody, um, and a lot of the European teams and a lot of the Australian teams are coming out. Uh, the Australian team, for some reason, is getting a lot of attention. A lot of people talking about them. I don't know too much about them, but I'd keep an eye out for them because a lot of people say they're going to win. Uh, the European teams that I'd look out for is Team Apex and Team Evo. They're very, very good, uh, very good teams. More in the UK side of things, uh, they play, you know, the Deserto rules, not MLG. So, but you know, they they're 
good teams nonetheless. So definitely people to look out for. And remember, there are still four open team slots that will be filled up at the actual event. And again, since nobody's played Modern Warfare 3 and that's where the tournament is, anybody can take this, whether it's an amateur team or a pro team. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I gave you guys some information you didn't know about COD XP. Uh, you guys can find the stream. I'll sit, put a link in the description. It'll be coming out Friday, this Friday. So keep in touch, and I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and see you guys next time.